Welcome to Learn by Choice. In this video, we are going to talk about the modern day digital thieves, how you can protect yourself from these kind of thieves. The digital penetration is huge in the country because of a rise in the digitization effort made by the government and various financial ent uh, entities and the rise of uh, digital inclusion expansion efforts and the convenience and ease offered by these digital tools. Even though the regulators and banks and financial entities, they are creating a lot of financial fraud awareness measures and also they are building this robust security framework to avoid this kind of frauds. Despite that, because of the increase and because of lack of awareness, people are falling prey to these kind of uh, digital threats which is happening in the financial sector. So as per the latest data released by the IIT Kanpur incubated startup, the financial frauds are occupying the, nearly 75% of the cyber crimes. So cyber crimes are activities which are happening in the cyber world using the digital devices through the internet. And the cyber crime and its prevention is very paramount and it is very important in the modern digital era. 50% of the financial crimes are happening in the UPI front. And 12% are from the net banking front and 18% are from the debit card and credit cards. In the year financial year uh, 2023, 95,000 UPI frauds are uh, reported. So the UPI penetration is huge in the country. 35 crore Indian population is using the UPI and 5 crore merchants and traders they are receiving the payment through UPI. And the 11 billion monthly UPI transactions are happening and it, this number of transactions are growing exponentially. So in the year 2021, 10 lakh frauds uh, amounting to 1100 crores are reported. In the subsequent year 2022, this 10 lakh has become 18 lakhs and the value has become 2100 crores. The value of fraud has almost doubled. So for each 64,000 digital transaction, one fraud has been reported. And most of the frauds, nearly 50% of the frauds, uh, the value of the fraud is less than uh, 10,000 rupees. And 2% of the frauds are above 1 lakh. So section 66 of IT Act 2000 actually defines the computer related offense. So computer related offenses are destruction of data or damage to the digital systems, disruption of certain services or denial of certain services and deletion of certain data, vital data based on dishonest and fraudulent actions of the offenders. So these offenders can be punished and they can also be imprisoned up to three years and the fine can be up to five lakh rupees or both can be imposed on these offenders. So there are four common cyber crimes that starting with the phishing where the fraudulent email is sent appears to be from the tr trusted source, but it is not so. So the purpose of any phishing email to install some malware and the victims a digital machine or digital device. Then the ransomware, it's a malware that locks and encrypts the victim's data. So unless otherwise the ransom money is paid, you cannot use the data further. Then identity theft, here the wrong usage of another person's personal data without their consent. It has been reported as identity theft. Then money mules, so these are all individuals who are used for receiving and transferring the money from the fraud victims. Here the money mules, many times they may be aware that they are being used for financial crime and on many occasions they may not be aware that they are being used for these financial crimes. Reverse engineering of mobile apps. The mobile apps, the fraudsters, they analyze the, the source code of the app to gather the information to perform certain malicious activities. So they try to exploit the vulnerabilities in the mobile app. So they tamper with the apps so that they can redirect the uh, transactions unnoticed to their for their benefit. Then the screen overlay attack here, the deceptive screens are created on the legitimate app user interface. So when you are using that app unknowingly, you will put some uh, sensitive data which leads to data theft and the screen sharing or remote access fraud. This is also very prominent. Here the fraudsters, they request for remotely accessing your digital device and they may be calling you as a trusted entity, maybe a bank or insurance company. So here the victims are unknowingly provide access of the digital device to the fraudsters. Then key logging or screen reading. Here the alternative keyboard apps which acts maliciously so that the, these are all called rogue key, keyboards. So this is uh, the purpose is again stealing the personal information. Then in the app banking fraud also very prominent. Here the fraudsters contact the bank customers urging them to install certain apps for providing additional security or for giving some rewards. Here after installation of the app the victims they enter the sensitive data. Then malicious application fraud here there are fake job postings or opportunities are provided. The prospective applicants will be asked to install certain apps. While after installing the app you will be entering the data that will be captured or harvested by the fraudsters. Then sim cloning or swap, swap fraud. Here the fraudsters they obtain duplicate sim without even your consent. So they will disconnect your phone and they will start using your sim in another phone 
because of that your uh, fraudulently they will try to access your bank account or something then qr code scam this is also very prominent here these scamsters or fraudsters they post themselves as buyers and asking the sellers sellers here are the victims to scan their qr code the buyers qr code once the sellers enter the upi pin in that qr code the scammers are fraudsters they use that information to withdraw the funds without even any trace social engineering this is a psychological attack fraudsters they exploit the people's natural tendency to trust others one kind of uh, social engineering is wishing the fraudster is being post themselves as bank representative call you and take certain information dark patterns this is prominent nowadays in the e-commerce and the digital world dark patterns are certain designs in the devices or which coerces or influences the consumers or the users to make certain choices which is not in their interest the manipulative practices used in e-commerce like drip pricing disguised adver- advertisement bait and switch and false urgency you are trying to book some hotel room or maybe some flight ticket and they will try to create an urgency that only few rooms or few tickets are left then website will have a clear button or visible button for subscription but that website may not be having the option for unsubscription it may be hidden somewhere considering this dark patterns the department of consumer affairs issued guidelines on prevention and regulation of dark patterns under section 18 of the consumer protection act 2019 so what you can do if you are an upa app user please verify the unknown bank accounts you have to be aware of the f- fake applications which are available in the app stores Le- regularly check your bank account for any suspicious transactions and please avoid using any open or public wifi for any banking or upa applications preventive measure to safeguard against any cyber crime never disclose a banking password set strong password change passwords periodically use virtual keyboards for online banking delete browsing data after completing online banking activities and then avoid financial transactions on any shared public computers or public wifi so if you are becoming a fraud what you have to do please call this number 1930 approach the bank or the financial institutions where you are you are a customer financial crimes can also be reported online cybercrime.gov.in and the complaints lodged in this portal are actually handled by the state or the union territory police authorities so this is the website interface for the uh, crime portal where you can report the cyber crime you can also track your complaint through your login id and mobile number and you can access this system thank you for watching learn by choice please subscribe to learn by choice for more and more educational videos we value your support